Welcome back. Let's continue the story. It's too bad it doesn't retain my, uh, my save or whatever. I guess it wouldn't know. It was on another computer after all. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> God. I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you, its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea! Repeat, we are at the sea! But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area! Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's shock. Start two large bore IVs, get him to ICU. He's, He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roots clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on up. Max, dears of all my friends. Payne? Did you take it out here in the Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I'm okay. Run! Max, what's going on? Max, about what happened. Hello. I would Anyone fuck. there? Max, hey! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off! <sighs> what are you still afraid of? What do you want from me? There's a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. me. I can't escape it. But I must go on. 
I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! It's Max Payne. Pictures from his non-existent daughter. So the lines from the, the the like mental patient were lines from the junkies in the first game, and I think the actor was Sam Lake, who is the face of Max Payne, and you know more than that, of course. But I'm pretty sure that was Sam Lake. Little Easter eggs. Not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Ah, bullshit. Can't run from your 
end up running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from, only the hole's grown deeper. No gun, no. I had tried to run from it. Edited out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle. Like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made. Like staying at work late to chat with a friend. Instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units? Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road killed behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Dick Justice. Stranded in the dark and violent night, Dick Justice, a lone, hard-boiled fugitive cop, framed for the murder of his wife, on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the city's heart of darkness. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. Lee, 
Clean Sing cleaning products. After dirty business, come clean with us. Dial 555-CLEAN. That's 555-CLEAN. Clean Sing cleaning products. The choice of crime scene cleanup services. A boy. I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <sighs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> the Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind. Our doors are open. Hi. You've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaisons. Our girls are eager to hear from you. Interfectum, 600 milligrams. A serious painkiller for serious pain. When I got shot in the line of duty as a police officer, Interfectum was all I took for the pain. Interfectum kills your pain. Interfectum, 600 milligrams. A serious painkiller for serious pain. My lord. Raconteur Magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Castling insurance companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. This week, television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness, in our return to Sender Marathon. A glass of Gold Touch Brandy to make you feel rich and famous. Hi, have we met before? Is this seat taken? <laughs> gold Touch Brandy, a taste of gold. Americans avenge your 9mm handgun when it's too late to protect your loved ones. No! 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 Americans Avenger for the payback time. To order now, call 555-GUN and you'll receive a year's worth of ammunition absolutely free. <laughs> No. Oh, oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Max Heath is back. Oh baby. Oh. Uh. Max Heath and Laura Norder in Max Heath Seven Late Night Adult Entertainment After Midnight. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lev. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant, Vodka. Come, make a scene. You will be seen. Clear as vodka. Vodka. Style, grace, and taste. Opening soon. Who's this a man with nothing to lose? Who's the grimiest, cat-busting, metaphor-spewing, avenging badass in the ghetto? That's right, Dick Justice. Clean sing, yep. cleaning products. Um That's it. Good times.
NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot the kill! Masquerading as cleaners. So they change bullet time a little bit in this game. Um, when you start getting consecutive kills, you'll notice the the bullet time meter will get more yellow. And when it gets to like a, a, a more yellow gold, you can do um, like a. A reload that'll kind of spin the camera around. You'll see. Okay, bullet time slows down even more as that meter kind of rises. Anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the floor. That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill them without spilling any blood. You know, gas them or poison or something. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. The timing of the music was cool. Oh, 
it out. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh god, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! Come on. Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! You're alive. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual.
But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Help! Stop it! Two men get it! Then he's down. All clear here. Hey, they want war? We'll kill him. Right, Fats? They got what's coming to them. Now we just need to find a motherfucker hiding behind a microphone and shut him up. Yeah, pull his plug. What was he going on about anyway? <laughs> Don't ask. Ha! Huh? Stop it! <laughs> Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. <laughs> Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. He's right about that.
You Max Payne? Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Very good show. Very fun. Baseball the Bat. The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episode 165. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's Girlfriend. Yeah, She's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak! <laughs> to save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Ugh! Foul ball! Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run. But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Go. Give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. Does it time. loop? A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to... You wait sleep. here, Mike. Sure That's thing, zombie Sheriff. Zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> Jesus and Christ, the fuck lips now. Got some game. heavy shit here. Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians are sneaky bastards. Look out! Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Oh, I forgot to try that. Guess we could still do it. Lips now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians have- <laughs> Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Oh, I'll, I'll bring him. Interfectum, 600 milligrams. A serious painkiller for serious pain. I could use your help, Mike. Rock and roll, partner. I'll watch your back. Interfectum kills your pain. Teeth. The whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with his toys. Gun business is our business. Ours. I don't care who says otherwise. We're in the gun business. Right. What can you do? We'll get there. Up the stairs. Stop him!
If you can, hurry. Big trouble. Ah! That's for it too. The only one. That was bad. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already.
not even trying! Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, no, pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hear the truck! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened, an echo of the past, an old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him to find my girlfriend, to save her. That's odd.
sorry I woke you. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. You better answer that. We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot the kill! You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Payne, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Payne, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Drop. Ah! Ah! Clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her, find out what was going on. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. You won't! Get out! Get out! 
No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I... Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. He was trespassing. You saw it. Used to be a time when you didn't have to lock your door. Something was barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. They jammed the elevator. Taking a scenic route here. This is a surprise, finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. There's a awful face. No! A no! No! Rest, rest right. please! Dick what? Clean sing cleaning products. No! Business, come clean with us. Style 555 five, five, clean. That's 555 five, five, clean. Clean sing cleaning products. Scared him to sleep. <laughs> what the hell? Just sleeping in your favorite chair. TV's on. It's a rainy night. You live alone. And then out of nowhere, some guy shoots you. And you just like, oh, what? what? Oh, 
Okay. Go back to sleep. Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. Know what this is? The finale. The climax before the credits roll. Pain. There he is! We've been waiting. I touched the box and he knew. What you're looking oh, for, Mr. Chance? Found me. My lord, I. His heart for faith. No! No! This is so no, difficult. Mercy. My mercy, lady. Please. My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was. Uh, no! Uh, no! Put it back on. They'll hear. They're spying on me. They're, they're listening and spying on all of us. They'll, they'll hear. If, the TV's not on. The, the, the signal. The signal. The fools and <laughs> yeah, that's not my lord. No, my lady. <laughs> Turn it back on. Now he's some tinfoil hat truther. <laughs> Amazing character development right there, huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. Know what this is? The finale. The climax before the credits roll. There he is! We've been waiting. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Take cover! Die! Die. Catch! Oh, crap! I like how he was walking towards the grenade he threw. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping Toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? She's not all with us. It's okay. Soon she will no longer be with us at all. Sounds like a silent shotgun on that first shot. I don't know why. Sound glitch. I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. We 
Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more coming behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. They were listening. Message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap isn't fooling anyone. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press 2. For Mona, press 3. You press 3 for Mona. Hi, this is Mona. What's your name? I just need someone to talk to. Honey, this is a phone sex line. All we do is talk. Right. It's... How do you fix something like that? How do you make amends? I thought it would help, but it only made it worse. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. Killing them all only made it worse. It didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. There goes my home. Trying to see if we can open the right side, but it won't let me. It's not the pay! Kill him! Ah! Here it goes! Ah! Ah! Uh, I, I wanted to hear what they had to say. <laughs> I don't want to reload though. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't improvement on the regular apartments. I thought I had melee equipped. I don't know why. They're crazy. They want to clean me out. from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf.
You can always tell the difference between a pigeon and a dove from the drop-ins. You crazy, you? What a mess. Look at this mess. I wanted to see if shooting him would cause the box to do anything weird or his body to do anything weird because it, it, like they're colliding right now, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go find the janitor. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code to the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the asphalt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my lies. Lonely street signs. Power lines. They keep on flashing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I were you, I'd stop that. Is that the game telling me to stop killing NPCs? Return to Central Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cult series. Address on all the episodes. A real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner, or the glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation, I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. 
and he was watching me do it. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. The explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Watch me not care. Did I miss? Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Just have to keep going down. Uh, somebody! Get somebody! You call the fire department! Help! Open the door! Somebody! Uh, I'm gonna burn alive in here! <coughs> oh, oh! Bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we can't do that. Yeah, no sweat. Used to be on a job. I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, I was a cop. Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified something would happen to me. On second thought, you better stay back. Ah, right. <laughs> Why the hell would I risk my life for this? Anyway, huh? <laughs> I need you to cover me. Say no more. Once a cop, always a cop. Once a cop, always a cop, huh? Gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. Coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. Ah! I'm Violet. No reaction. A girl's gotta protect herself. Girl's gotta protect herself. I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juicehead. You gotta get me out of this. Your place of mine, huh? <laughs> hey, I was talking to Handsome here. More uh, of that. Freeze! <laughs> Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem.
Everything is gone. <laughs> hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you from here. Nice. Friends. Hey. 